I can't show you the X, Y, Zs if you're not even doing the ABCs. And the conversations that I have with my top producers are very different from the ones that, are, that I have with the ones barely starting out. And some never progress from there. Don't be that person. Welcome, welcome to another episode of Mindset Mastery. Please check in as you're coming on board. Today's topic is over and over again, over and over again, right? And um, I remember as a young kid, uh, anytime my mom would discipline me for the same thing, I was like, ah, oh, I know exactly what she's going to say. It's the same stuff over and over again. And, you know, in, in this business, I think we get into this mindset of, hey, I want to hear something new. There's got to be something easier. There's got to be a different way uh, besides this constant reminder to do the work on a daily basis. And I was talking to this individual over the, over the past week, and, um, you know, the conversation came up. And, um, you know, he was talking to me about uh, how, you know, everything we do here is repetitive, right? It's all about repetition, and the repetition is what ultimately gets you the results. But for those that avoid the repetition, it sometimes feels like I'm just repeating the same thing over and over, as opposed to thinking about it is the repetitious items that will get you what you want. They think, well, AZ just says the same thing. And the realities are everything I do here, everything that we teach here, Every top producer that has is, that is, uh, created their business comes from the repetitious items, the reps. We put it on shirts. We, we provide a 12-week target book that has the same shit over and over and over again. But yet, it will trigger those that avoid the work. It will trigger those to simply uh, uh, you know, come to a conclusion that, hey, it's just the same stuff over and over. I don't need to uh, pay attention. I don't need to join Mindset Mastery. I don't need to come to the sales meetings. Because they fail to see and they fail to ask better questions because they're avoiding the work altogether. And we have to think about this, right? Because it's real easy to avoid someone telling us the things that we should be doing. Sometimes it triggers us, right? We're like, ah, they're wrong. I'm right. But when you end up looking at the results, you'll understand that it's the reps, the things that we're trying to avoid that will ultimately get us what we want. This morning as I'm pulling in, I have my coffee cup. I have my green smoothie. I have my water cup. I have my, uh, my uh, lunch bag. I have my backpack. And I realized, man, I've been doing this for years, the same thing over and over again, grabbing the same backpack, the same lunch bag. Until recently, driving up in the same car. Six years, okay, of doubt and overcoming it. Day in and day out. Six years of frustrations and plowing through with it. Six years of mistakes and then finding solutions. And I always use that, you know, we really didn't come into a, a, a path of what we wanted for this brokerage until 2014. Even though we opened up our doors in 2011, it wasn't until 2014 where I proclaimed this was the strategy and this is the path that I was going to take, which was to grow our brokerage, to bring on other individuals besides just the members of my team. And even though I made that proclamation in early 2014, it wasn't until many months later until I really, like, immersed myself into it, where I literally had to give up my own personal production, where I literally had to stop all my flip properties to focus on this brokerage. And day in and day out, I started doing the same things, the same things we teach here with the 12-week target book. And day in and day out, doing the same things over and over again. And the only thing that changed was, well, the results. Although most, most of the action was very much the same, I started asking myself better questions because I was pushing through another level each and every time. And I became more enlightened. I started 
producing at a higher level. I started taking greater actions because these same reps that seem repetitive is what made me more aware of my own personal dysfunctions and own personal actions. Day in and day out. And I started applying it. And we grew from 10 agents to 20 agents to 40 agents to 60 agents doing the same shit over and over and over again. Going to my mentors, going to my coaches, and them telling me the same shit over and over and over again. To a point where I'm like, dude, tell me something new, but yet... My business grew from 60 agents to 80 agents to 100 agents. And when I would avoid the work is the same moment I would say, coach, you're just telling me the same thing. And it's always when you avoid the work that you, we simplify shit. And we try to put it onto others. And 100, 120, 120 to 140. My routine didn't change. What it created is what changed. Because every time I was stacking that on top of the work from yesterday and the day before and the months before that and the years before that. Everything we do here is about the repetition and for those of you that are avoiding the work, don't minimize it by saying, well, it's, all, it's always the same things. It's always the same things because you're not asking better questions because you've been avoiding the work. You can't. You can't possibly ask better questions if you're standing in the same spot. And it goes to all of us. If you ever hit a, a, a point in your career where you're stagnant, consider that you stopped the reps. If you hit a plateau, consider that something about your process has stopped or slowed. As I look at my own body today, right, is where I was a year ago. I would say it's not in the, in the best shape as it was because I stopped certain things and I implemented other things that are not necessarily beneficial for me. But this is where it counts, becoming aware of the dysfunction and doing something about it. When I've avoided the work, I've been stagnant in my business. When I've avoided the work, we've had horrible fights at home. When I've avoided the work, my daughters are all, all you think about is your business, dad. But when I get onto this routine of the repetitiveness when I get on this routine of the same shit over and over again, the stuff that I hate is what ultimately produces the stuff that I love. I love having money in the bank. I love being connected at home. I love my business. By doing the shit that I don't necessarily love, it gets me the results that I do of the things that I do. And it's boring stuff. I'm, I'm going to tell you that right now. And the whole point of this is to, to remind you, are you in line with, with the things that you said? Are you in line with the things that you said? Last week, my production was lackluster. It was average, below average. And I'll tell you why because I was th thrown off my own routine through travel. And it happens often, right? We're, we're on this game where things are looking good, where things are progressing. And then all of a sudden you look back and you're like, dude, my last week was horrible. And it typically happens, right? When you're, you're taken out of a routine. I was in Kansas City for four days. It took me off my routine completely. And I ended up scoring like a 11 out of 21. Now, if, if you've been doing this with me, 
you'll realize that you have a possibility of getting three points for working on power deposit, a purpose deposit, and a profits deposit. These are the minimum standards to grow yourself, to grow your life, to grow your business. And yet, I'm not in a position of power. I only got 11 out of 21. But these are the things that I did as soon as I fell off this, the wagon, right? As soon as I fell off the things that work. I learned to begin again. I learned to begin again. When I got back on Tuesday, I, I knew that like, like I can't do anything about what I didn't do the, the days before. But on Wednesday, I attacked it. I attacked it with the vigor within me like nothing was going to stop me from doing what I said I was going to do. The same thing happened for this week. I'm thinking about what I didn't do last week, but that's fueling me now. It's not holding me back. I'm not making things work worse by avoiding it. I got all my game. And I know you can't see it because the lights are too bright. But I'm on my game. This thing is filled up from top to bottom. I'm getting shit done. Because I know the stuff that works. The stuff that sounds like a, like a squeaky wheel to some. When it's actually the song of action, the squeaky wheel. That squeaky wheel is working. So if you found yourself that you, you've got off this game, if you're getting triggered by those that are constantly growing, start looking at what you're avoiding. I, I got this revelation, and it's, it's, it's funny how things work sometimes, right? Um, the quote of the day for today was, get used to being able to check off items off your list. It will build your confidence and give you a sense of accomplishment. That is what purpose is all about. And my revelation with that is this is so true. It makes me feel powerful that I am in alignment with what I want. Purpose comes from checking off what must be done. Purpose, must, purpose comes from checking off what must be done. And it's a simple process. Because now I'm grounded. I'm not making excuses. I'm in the present. I'm asked to analyze what is going on right now. Not focus on what I avoided last week and not focus on what, what tomorrow will bring. It's about presence. And regardless of what we did or didn't do, regardless of what our attitudes were last week, yesterday, nothing really matters but what we do right now. What are you grateful for today? I am grateful for this book. I am grateful for the impact this is making on others. I am grateful for the, for the domino effect it is, it is having on them as parents, spouses, and business people. Why do I say that? This weekend, I got... I got a text from one of our agents and, and said, you got me tearing up and crying every day with these heartfelt text messages to others. Thank you, thank you for all that you do for us and the continued support. Another element that some of us just avoid altogether by simply just reaching out to people and sending a text of appreciation. Last thing that I got today. And this is where the subject came. I, I had another thing that I was going to talk about, but sometimes you just have to go with what the voice is screaming to you, right? And I feel like this is going to impact many of you. And I feel like others, and it's typically the ones that don't show up, will continue on this average cycle where nothing seems to really work out. No progression is really seen. Because again, all they try to do is box whatever we do into a simple word. It's all repetitive. Yes, it's called the reps, the work. And those that continue to do it, 
the level of conversation arises from that. But if you avoid it, you will never get it. And that's the same thing my coach told me. I can't show you the X, Y, Zs if you're not even doing the ABCs. And the conversations that I have with my top producers are very different from the ones that, are, that I have with the ones barely starting out. And some never progress from there. Don't be that person. Don't simplify it to the fact that it's all repetitive. The repetition is what ultimately get you what you want. It says, six years of repetitive, uh, of, re of repeating the boring process. Six years of repeating the same shit over and over again. Yet, if you don't have, if you don't find enlightenment from avoiding the work, you should try doing the work. I love that. If you don't find enlightenment from avoiding the work, then try doing the work. Because I promise you will never run into a position, you will never be in a place where you're not enlightened of what you can do and how you can improve and how you can show up more powerfully at home and how you can increase your profits. You will never run out of that enlightenment. That is, unless you've been avoiding something. So if you're in a plateau right now, things are not progressing, what are you avoiding? Because a different environment will help you. And if you're not thriving under these conditions, under th this brokerage, it's not what we're doing. It's what you're avoiding. We're here to help you. I want to help you get there. But it comes first with self-responsibility. Not disregarding what's been proven to work over and over again. Because although I had the same backpack, the same lunch bag, the same green smoothie, my world is completely different from what it was six years ago. Let's do this together. So, if something took you off your game, let's get back on it today. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to begin again. That's the only thing you could do is begin again. Another thing, don't avoid it. Just simply recommit. And repeat what's been proven to work. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to learn a new technology. You don't have to n learn anything new. You don't have to put another, uh, another item of unfinished business on your task list. Just simply do what you committed to. Start there and try to stay consistent with that for a week, for two weeks, for an entire quarter, for an entire year. I promise you, you will grow faster than you trying to find the shortcut to this process, trying to learn something new that you will never apply. In order to apply something new, you have, a, have, you have to have a foundation of being able to pull things off, to be able to accomplish things. And finally, don't make things worse. Maybe that family vacation took you off your game. Maybe that, that disagreement that you had at home took you off your game. Don't make things worse. Get back into power. Go back to the things that have been proven to work. Guys, I want to thank you. Do we have any? What's that? Oh, I'm going to have to check my phone. Can you pull that up on that one too? So we're trying this new system because the old system wasn't working. But I want to get your feedback on this. What are you getting? And I want to thank you. Like, guys, I, I get so much inspiration from, from hearing from you. If there's something that's impacted you, if there's a conversation that you had, please share it with me. Because these conversations over this past week just made me really appreciate that we're not hiding anything here. It's the same shit over and over again. The only thing that changes is the level of conversation, the level of action, and the level of results if you choose to do it. 
So I'm inviting you. If you haven't been on these Mindset Masters for a while, join me again. If you've been avoiding our sales meeting because your results are not there, join us again. If you haven't stepped into one of our office, the doors are always open. But don't avoid it. And don't simplify it. Let me back up. Don't disregard it. We're here for you. All right. Are you able to pull up another uh, so I can see who's on here with me? I want to thank you again. Uh, you can open up a new window, I think. Uh, let me see here. Sorry, guys. We're trying a new uh, software system here, and we're, tr we're trying to get used to it. All uh, right. All right. So if you guys are on this with me, please, please... Uh, let me give me one second here. All right, there we go. I see it. I see it right there. All right. Good morning to you. All right. I can see everyone who's joined us today. Teresa, good morning. Claudia, Celia, Christina, Nick, Ali, Michelle. Thank you so much for joining Sela. Eric, major key alert. The reps builds capacity. And in two weeks, not only do I think more, I start more. Not only do I start more, but I finish more. Epic. And I mean, and I'm having conversation like this with, you know, 25 year olds, 20 year olds, 26. And I'm thinking to myself, if I had this type of environment, if I had a, a coach or a mentor that would just remind me of these simple processes, I would have avoided a lot of the chaotic outcomes that I created for myself. The painful, the people that I hurt, the people that I abandoned. And I know some of us have to go through these pain points in order to learn the lesson, right? But I'm a firm believer that we don't have to make it that bad before we learn the lesson. As opposed to hitting rock bottom before we learn something, we could avoid that by learning from the mistakes of others, by learning from the actions of others. We don't have to go all the way down to the pit to learn these lessons. I'm thankful for every one of you. Let's go ahead and put the comments back on, please. Thank you for that, Eric. Jermaine, I love you, man, for sacrificing the time effort, and energy to build. I build with you. Man, thank you, Jermaine. And, you know, there, there's a direct correlation of those that, you know, just stick to the simple game plan. And, you know, Jermaine and I, we, we're constantly in contact. And there, there's quite a few agents that I'm just constantly in contact with, but they make the effort to stay in contact with me because they know that I'm all in. So if, if you guys need to reach out, just send me a quick message. Give me a quick phone call. I'm here for exactly that, but thank you for that, Jermaine. Audra, good morning. Eric, maybe you, don't, you didn't finish, but you didn't lie to yourself. That's growth. Yes, right? Like not opening this book is avoiding it right? Not opening this book is simply avoiding it, putting it away, you know, put it in your desk. That's avoiding it. But me to actually have to look at what I didn't accomplish last week. Yeah, that sucks. There's a few pages there where I only got one or two things done. That's not me. But I didn't make it worse by avoiding it because I got to go another week, two weeks. Instead, I have to face the harsh truths and begin again. Teresa, so simple. Just do the work. A little each day it makes feel so good. And from that, you just your confidence just grows through the roof, right? Teresa, I know you got some great deals in the pipeline and the conversations you've had to have with your with your clients, right? The crucial conversations. And it, it the the problems are bigger because you've become bigger in life. Right? Your problems will always be in the, in the direct proportion of where you're growing. And uh, you're there. Thanks for this. I feel like we were in my head. I'm ready for this week. Good work, Liz. And what you've done, what you've grown. How many deals do you have, right, as a transaction coordinator? Sergio, repetitious boredom is what I hear. Marry the process no matter what. And the repetition will get me the result. That's what it comes down to. Guys, I, I, I enjoyed, I thoroughly enjoyed this a lot of reflection just walking from that parking lot, right? 
six years with the same ba- I'm looking at my backpack. I'm like, damn, this thing is either really old or really durable. <laughs> you know? Same thing for my lunch bag. Same thing for the green smoothie. And, and everything just progresses from there. So let's have a great week. Um, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye now. Yeah.